Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do a quick video for you today to introduce you to my new day pack. Um, now this is not quite a review, um, basically because as far as I can tell, this brand, uh, not, sorry, not the brand, this model has been discontinued. Now I picked it up from an online auction website, I'm sure you can all guess which one, um, and this is the Camelback Octane 8 Plus. Um, now from what, as I say, what I understand, this has now been um, superseded by the 18 or the 18 XL, um, and it's a very, very similar bag from what I can tell, and I, I don't think the 8 and the 18 necessarily refer to um, literage um, because they look very very similar in size. Um, now the reason I wanted this pack um, is that um, me and the missus are going away this summer to the Isle of Wight. Um, if you've not been there I highly recommend it but we're staying very close to the coast. In fact we're actually staying um, probably a I don't know, maybe a 50 yard walk to the beach, um, which is gonna be lovely for us, obviously. Um, and there's a lot of coastal paths, there's a lot of um, walks, and possibly even some runs if I can, if I can work up the enthusiasm. Um, now, I'll probably take one of my cameras with me. Um, I'm not planning on doing any major videos while we're away, uh, but I think what I might do is just take my GoPro, um, stick it on my pack sh uh, shoulder strap, or, or on a, one of these selfie sticks or something, and just give you guys a bit of a walk around as we're going about places. Um, but anyway, back to the pack. So I bought this mostly because I wanted it for going on holiday, but actually I think this is actually gonna be a really good little day pack for going out for maybe an afternoon in the woods and that kind of thing. Um, you can actually fit quite a lot in here if you're uh, careful about how you pack it. Um, so what I think I'll do, I'll bring the camera a little bit closer in and I'll show you this in a bit more detail. Right then guys, so this is the pack, um, and to start off with, where shall I start? Um, let's start with the front, shall we? So you've got a big zip coming down the front here, um, very, very similar to the uh, the 18, um, the new version of this, shall I say. Um, and basically, the zip will come completely undone and essentially just expands your pack size. Um, now I actually quite like it when it's closed up like this, and that's how I've been using it so far. Um, so that not only expands your pack size, but it also, with this little buckle at the top here, gives you a little front pouch. Um, I've found this really good for putting in your mobile phone, maybe your wallet, any, any sort of small items that you want to be able to get to fairly easily. Um, so I think that's quite a nice feature. You know, a lot of bags that have expandable sizes um, tend to rely on straps along the side where you kind of cinch it in when you don't need as much space. And this does have a few of those, um, but actually, because it's quite a small pack, I've not needed to use them yet. Um, on the side here, you've got a little zip pouch as well. Um, it's not very big. You can fit a wallet in there. Um, you can fit a small mobile phone, but if you've got sort of a modern smartphone, you'll struggle a little bit to get it in there. Um, also really, really good for keys as well. Um, and then moving on, main compartment, quite a big compartment. I would say this is probably close to 15 to 20 litres, um, just looking at other packs that I have of a similar size. Um, and most importantly for you guys, you can fit a decent sized carving axe in there um, with a fair amount of space. Now I could get an axe, saw, a knife, um, my camera, a um, few other bits and pieces in there with no real problem, maybe, maybe a sort of a small um, rain jacket or something like that. But you know, it is really, really sort of roomy in here. Um, and especially if you decide to expand it as well, obviously you'll be able to fit a bit more in. Um, I'm not a fan of really packing out rucksacks like this. Um, I like to have a little bit of room inside because otherwise as soon as you open it, you've got to kind of start taking things out to get to the stuff at the bottom. Um, moving on then to the waist strap. So you've got a pouch on either side. Um, and again, these are quite roomy. You can very easily get keys, wallet, um, again, small mobile phone, that kind of thing. Um, but I think the, you know, the intention is they're actually, I think, designed for things like trail bars, um, you know, protein bars, that kind of thing for when you're out on the go. Um, maybe I will use it for that if I do do a bit of running while I'm away. Um, obviously, you've got a little um, handle at the top really useful for if you kind of just want to pick it up and move from you know a short distance that kind of thing um, you've also got 
a chest strap as well and I will put this on before the end of the video just so you can see how it fits um, and then we come to the most important bit which is you know the reason I went for a camelback is because um, inside this back piece here um, and again you know you don't have to use this for its intended purpose I was using this as a bag just to get to and from work um, and I had my uh, Kindle in here and a few other bits and pieces and it, it, it sort of it's a really nice little flat space you wouldn't quite fit a laptop um, but you know you could get a tablet or a Kindle or something like that in there but inside here we have a hydration bladder I'm not going to take the whole thing out but this is a three litre bladder um, and it fits in there quite snugly it doesn't really get in the way you know you don't really notice it or feel it while you're while you're walking around um, and there's a nice little cutout at the top just here that lets your um, the hose through for the bladder. Um, now I've got an aftermarket. This is not a um, it's not a Camelback um, bite valve on here. Um, this is this is made by Juta. Um, but you know it's a standard thing. You know you've got a little valve on there that you twist up to allow water to flow. You bite onto it, and you can get to your water. Um, and it's really nice because this runs through a little clip on the strap here. Um, it really does let you use, um, you know, use it really easily. So it's sitting on your shoulder, and you just want to pick it up, take the cap off, have a drink. I mean, if I'm going out running, I'll probably remove the cap before I go because it's just a little bit fiddly. Um, but you know, all in all, this is a really nice little pack. And I think you know, for something like bushcrafting, if you're going away for, you know, less than a day. Um, you know, three litres of water on a warm day, you know, that's going to give you sort of three to four hours worth of hydration, maybe a little bit more to be honest, um, but you know, if you want to stay properly hydrated, I'd say three to four hours. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. Now what I'll do, I'm just going to move the camera again for a second, I'm, I'm going to quickly put this on just so you can see how it fits. So there you go guys, this is it on, um, I've got the chest strap and the waist strap on sits really nicely and comfortably on your back um, and if I move a bit closer for you just so you can see you know, this is really not moving anyway you can hear probably hear some water sloshing around um, which is fine you know that's what it's designed to do but there is just no movement in this pack um, you know everything sits nice and comfortably you know I've got really easy access to this hose um, and all in all it's just a really really nice pack um, so if I just bring the camera down again slightly, grab a seat. Um, so yeah, as I say, you know, this as a you know, it's designed for people who are running, who are cycling, you know, active people, maybe rock climbing, that kind of thing. And, and I think for that, it will work really, really well. Um, but for me, you know, it, it's going to be going out for sort of like long walks while I'm on holiday. You know, it means I haven't got to carry a separate bottle with me. Um, and again, you know, the, the way this fits to me, um, and you know, maybe I, just, I was just lucky, I don't know, but the way this fits, um, I'm sure that we're all familiar with backpacks, um, you know, especially if you're taking a 40, 50, 60 litre pack out or sort of bushcrafting with you going camping. Um, and, you know, it really doesn't sit very comfortably no matter how well you pack, certainly some packs. Um, but because this is designed for kind of, you know, sport use, for, for, for high activity use, it really does just cling to you, but it's also really comfy. Um, you know, one of the things I really hate about my normal day pack, and I hate's probably too strong a word because, you know, it's not, not enough to do anything about it. Um, but, you know, it kind of just flops around a lot. So, if, you know, if you're walking on uneven ground or you're kind of, you know, traipsing, moving around, getting out of the way of trees and branches, it does sort of slide around a little bit. Now, that's not a huge problem, I'll be honest. Um, but, you know, having something like this that actually just sort of moves with my body rather than against it. Um, I've just been finding it really, really comfortable. Um, so anyway, this was just meant to be a short video just to introduce you to this pack. Um, I will be using it certainly more often. You know, it's big enough to get some of my bushcrafting gear in if I'm going out for a day. Um, and hopefully when I'm on holiday, it's gonna be a really nice little hiking pack, etc, um, etc. Et so um, if you liked the look of this, and again, this is not a review as I say, um, but you know, I was lucky enough to find this. I mean, one of the things I actually really liked about this pack was the colour. 
um, you know, and they don't seem to do this colour anymore. They do quite a bright orange, but it's not really my thing. This is more of a sort of a yellow in my mind. Um, and you know, I'm going to be using this quite a lot. Um, and to be honest, if if, um, if if I get on really well with this, I may actually consider getting the newer version, which I think is the the Octane 18 or 18 something, possibly XL if memory serves. Um, but yeah, so um, hope it was useful guys. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.